This is the Ivy Leaf Social Club on the outskirts of Birmingham alongside a busy high street. The club was opened in 1948 by the British Legion for somewhere for ex-servicemen to meet up and have a drink and a chat. It was a member-owned club and it was built here after the land was donated to a committee. The land previously was a field. In later years the club was bought out by breweries and the British Legion didn't have a role in the club but it remained a meeting place for ex-servicemen as well as youth groups and was a lively venue hosting live music, parties and meetings and like most clubs hosted bingo and dancing at weekends. The building is three stories high with a venue on the first and second floors, living quarters on the top floor and a large cellar underground. There are lots of different bars in the building, a big dance floor, a stage, a snooker room and a British Legion room. In 2009, brewing giant Carlsberg put the building on the market to try to claw back a £200,000 debt, although the committee running the club insisted this was being paid off. Even so, creditors were called in and they put the building on the market. Eventually, in 2021, the club closed. The building sold and planning permission was granted in the same year for the building to be demolished and replaced with 50 flats, a retail unit and ample parking. As of September 2024, the building is still standing and is back on the market for an undisclosed amount. This must be one of my favourite explores so far, just because the outside gave no clues as to how amazing the inside was. The building was vast with room after room and it wasn't too hard to imagine how vibrant this place must have been once with its live music, sports nights and various events for the local community. It is sad that a building built on a plot of land donated to a charity has so cruelly been taken away by a worldwide company that has no interest in local communities and is more interested in profit. But unfortunately, that is the case with most pubs and clubs in this day and age. Let's hope something can be done with this building, even if that means knocking it down and rebuilding, as it has become an eyesore. The building may be beyond restoring, but at least the name, the Ivy Leaf, holds lots of happy memories for people who frequented this club. Right just inside another pub as usual we're coming in by the toilets office or a storeroom or something. So that would be the main entrance there. It's a huge place this. Let's go through here. Just gonna step over doors and stuff. Man, it's huge. Ceilings giving way there, look. been a good night that night. But look at this space, it must have been a massive like entertainment area. Oh look there's the other shoe. Must have been a good night. But look at it, there's the stage up there.
big place. What a shame it's closed. As you can hear, there's lots of glass on the floor. Just eat, left his bag. Okay, get the stage. Go up on the stage and have a look. Shit. It's like broken guitars everywhere. Right, let's go up on the stage. Just got to be mindful, there's doors going off everywhere. So, you don't want to miss stuff. There's a piano there. It's a big stage. It's very dark. So I think that's the uh, mechanism for the lowering and for the curtains and the sets, probably the back drops. Got a room here. There's an old organ in there, look. Those are chairs. Quite dark in here. Here's the piano. The other side is just exactly the same. Don't realise how big this place is from the outside. I think that's just all the um, Stairs going down here. Do we go down? Oh my god. Do we go down? Let's have a look. Oh my god. It's just another a storeroom. Is this underneath the um is this that room I could see down into? stage. Right, it's going to look behind the bar and the other places. Jesus. Ooh, can't go that way. So we've got a little kitchen here. Just doesn't smell very nice in here. Just off the main hall bit. I haven't found how you get behind the bar yet. So it's just going behind the bar. That looks like how you go down to the cellar. No, that's how you go down to the cellar. Uh, maybe do that last. So, 
it's just behind the bar. As you can see, there's not much left. Everything that can be smashed has been smashed. So, as you can see there is upstairs, but there's more down here to look at. Like I said, it's, this place is huge. Just be out of focus, I mean I could do better than that. Spanish lounge, oh my goodness. Look at this door. Entering the Spanish lounge. My goodness, look at this. It's all very um <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's like a swingers club. Not that I know what a swingers club is, but it's like mines in the floor. It is very, um, yeah, odd. Sure, it wasn't. I thought it was a great place when it was up and running. I'm not sure why is there. I don't know. There's like humps in the in the floor. You can't really tell on the video. more it just goes on and on this place so look behind the bar Jesus I haven't seen a date on any paperwork yet There's another bar. What's this bar for? There's another room. I don't know how many bars this place had. All steps down to the cellar. There's another, another little room. With its own bar. Right, just carry on down this corridor into this other room. Guys, more steps down to the cellar. I presume it's down to the cellar. Jesus. Oh, I hope someone's left their hat behind. Southern Comfort Voodoo Tribe. Uh, another. Another big room. What a waste of a place this is. I mean, I don't know how old this place is. I don't know, 60s or 70s, because it's a, it's not a nice building on the outside. But um, I don't know. I keep getting like the hairs on my head feel prickly, like static, which is a bit weird. When's this from? I don't know, it just says 19th of October. Don't know what year. But some big, like, function rooms. It's a shame. Absolute shame. Uh, let's go back through this way. That'll be one of the main entrances as well there, look. 
an open bottle of WKD Blue there. Party in a bottle. Right, so it's just upstairs to have a look. I don't know how bad the floor is going to be, but we'll go as far as we can. There's a washing machine. It's always handy to have at the top of the stairs. Again, this bit's going off. Either way, let's go to the left first. This place is huge, it just goes up and up. Right, so there's another bar here and another room. This is known as the concert room. Wow, look. What a mess. Oh, there's, there's a reef there. What a place, what a place and what a waste for the area. I'd imagine lockdown had a, a lot to do with it. Right, there is more, there's a the stairs there to go upstairs again, but we'll have a look down this other side. Wow, look what's in here. Full-size snooker tables. Wow. This place is just mind-blowing. this paper from well, March the 14th 2024 um. This must have been like the um, sports bar up here, I presume. Okay, it's been completely smashed though. Completely smashed. It's behind the bar. Good grief. Here's another shoe over here, look. It's been some good nights in here. Right. So this was the snooker room. Someone's left their jacket. Uh, we'll go and uh, see how far we can get up 
another floor. Up these stairs to the left and see what it's like. Just come up a flight of stairs. Like this doesn't look too promising, does it? Doesn't look very promising at all. Right, this is one bit off the landing. I mean, look at the state of that. We'll go and see what we can find. I think this was probably the private. Uh, living quarters wasn't it? We'll go and see if we can see anything. Well first room is just stacked full of stuff. Another room here look. Jeez. <clears throat> Got a room here with paperwork the date on some of it is 2004, but uh, this is the view from the window. And we've got another room here. Again, with all paperwork, hole in the ceiling. Right, through to the other side. There's just stuff on the floor. They've had like glass ceiling lights and they've all smashed so all the water's come in. Got a room here. old certificates something memorial club 10 shillings I can't see a date on it though I think they ran the British Legion Club from here because uh, I can see like membership cards payment cards so I think they yeah that's where they ran their branch of the British Legion and the women's section it's quite interesting 